I'm personally not too concerned about it, but but one thought I've been having is in the future, say, say Peter McKay goes all the way and and, uh, and and wins the leadership, people might start to see my brand as being the copycat. And then that's the only thing that would concern me is that that someone finds my site a year from now and then, like, oh, I saw that on Peter McKay's website. That, that, that side of it would, would bother me more than the fact that they look similar. Conservatives have had a rough go of it recently when it comes to stealing logos. Jason Kenney's energy war room, known as the Canadian Energy Centre, faced allegations in 2019 that they blatantly ripped off the logo of Project Sitefinity. Project Sitefinity responded and the logo was changed. But that didn't stop the allegations because it turned out that their second logo also appeared to be very similar to another logo. Well, Peter McKay, who just launched his leadership bid for the Conservative Party of Canada, is facing similar allegations that his logo was ripped off of Maple Money, a financial advice blog that is based in Alberta. Now, there's only so many ways you can make a maple leaf with three M's, but it doesn't change the fact that even the font, the M's are almost perfectly in sync here, and it looks like the font in Peter McKay's logo is basically Maple Money's font, just a little bit less bold. And it gets even worse when you go on Instagram and look at the whitewashed versions of these logos. It looks like the logo is being copied platform to platform. Now, Peter McKay's campaign has been releasing messaging lately that doesn't say a whole heck of a lot. Take a look at his most recent ad. Canada is strong because Canadians make it strong. That's really profound, Peter really really profound well i am actually at a starbucks now and i'm about to speak with mr tom drake he is the founder of maple money and i'm going to ask him a few questions about how he feels about these very similar logos could you tell me how did you feel or at least how did you find out about uh, peter mckay's logo and how similar it was to maple money's i actually had a canadian journalist from the washington post uh send out a tweet and and i by the time i got up in the morning i, I saw it and uh, I, was, I was pretty surprised how does it make you feel? Do, do you think that it's a blatant ripoff, or do you think maybe it's just coincidental? M's fit into uh, the Maple Leaf only so many ways. I, I hope it's co coincidental. It's uh, it, it's it's certainly yeah. There's only so many ways you can do a Maple Leaf. It's also possible that maybe someone saw it and had it subconsciously in the back of their head. It's it's hard to tell. So how how did you feel when you saw saw it? Did you reach out to the campaign at all, or? No, other than sort of participating in the tweet that had him included, uh, I, I haven't reached out to them. Um, I'm personally not too concerned about it, but, but one thought I've been having is in the future, say, say Peter McKay goes all the way and, and, uh, and, and wins the leadership, people might start to see my brand as being the copycat. And then that's the only thing that would concern me is that, that someone finds my site a year from now and then, they're like, oh, I saw that on Peter McKay's website. That, that, that side of it would, would bother me more than the fact that they look similar. Now it looks right now like Peter McKay's main opposition will be Aaron O'Toole. Now Aaron O'Toole has been trying to brand himself a little bit like a blue Tory, even though his past record might not say that. You can almost make a strategy out from his logo. The lighter blue representing the moderates in the party and the darker blue representing the blue Tories in the party. Now Aaron O'Toole recently released this campaign ad. I'll let you give it a watch here. Who's going to fight for auto workers who just saw the last car roll off the line? Who's going to fight for forestry workers who just watched another mill close? Who's going to stand up for those who wear a uniform of service to protect us at home and abroad? Who's going to defend our history, our institutions against attacks from cancel culture and the radical left? The stakes are high for Canada. The country needs a strong conservative party. We need strong leadership to unite our party, take the hyphen out of being a conservative, and ensure we grow our movement to win. We need to show more urban and suburban Canadians that their values of liberty, family, and equality are at the core of our party. It's time Canadians had a government that fights for their needs instead of fighting for attention from global celebrities and corrupt corporate insiders. I'm Aaron O'Toole, and I'm running to unite Conservatives on the path to victory. I'm not a career politician. I'm not a product of the Ottawa bubble. I spent 10 years in the private sector and 12 years in our military, where you're judged by who you are and the work you do, not where you came from or who you know. I'm asking for your support to take on and beat Justin Trudeau. I'm in politics to fight for you, and I need you to fight alongside me for Canada. 
Now, I'm a big fan of some of these themes, but it remains to be seen whether or not any substantial policy will be enacted here. Just merely saying you want to stop cancel culture sounds great and all, but it isn't quite the substantial policy that many Conservatives are waiting to see, and only time will tell exactly how this turns out. For Rebel News, I'm Kean Bexty. Do you want to go on a cruise with Ezra Levant, Sheila Gunn-Reed, myself and David Menzies? Well, if you go to rebelnewscruise.com, you can check out a bunch of packages where you can come with us to Alaska in early July. Check it out at rebelnewscruise.com.